here is our arrived. hotel. It's called the Ling. The Ling Boutique Hotel. Oh, surrounding is like got nothing much. We are right smack in the city center, but it doesn't look yeah. like there's a lot. Hello, so, Mingala. So Where is oh? Okay, first floor. Okay. I thought, how come there's no staff right here? We go to level one to check in. The reason why I chose this hotel, which is uh, near to the train station, as we are taking train to Yangon. Thank you. Hello. So here is the reception. It's quite basic reception, and it's a oh, lot of aircon. It's very cool now. Ingalaba. Hi. We got our key. The room number for tonight is 505. And let's on open the room. Wow, got a very spacious room so far. It looks clean to me. Okay. Right over here, there's a mini bar. And the drinks here is okay, portable. Let me see. So there's a hanger area. And then the safe is right over here. This one, you can see to the bottom. We don't have the cutting, but we have very busy hangers. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's a very special device, and then over here for you to Eventually, store the shoes. Here is a walking deck. Oh, um, why they have this dripping plug? That's for Singapore. That's amazing. It, it looks different. It's universal. Yeah. Except for uh, the lights. Okay. Yeah. Which is non-universal. Okay, let's on all the light. For those, it's bright enough. Uh, interesting. <laughs> the design. Funny, you can see everything. Yeah. Yeah. So and <laughs> this is very <laughs> contrast and suddenly a very, very old school. Interestingly yeah. placed. And oh, uh, the train station is the blue color building. That one is the train station. It looks any restaurant around. I can see the rooftop there is very cute. Yeah. It's perfect for me though, so I can have all my vegetable plant over there. <laughs> then the bed. Let's go have a look at the washroom. Washroom is... Wow! <laughs> it's huge! Wow, it's huge. Right, yeah. And there's a bathtub here. And oh, the open concept toilet bowl. <laughs> and what is this? Okay, I'm not sure what it's that about, but the bathroom is wow. I like it. It's, yeah. They have not one but two non sleep mats mm. in the sh standing shower. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Privacy. And what else? The hair dryer. Oh, the hair dryer looks powerful. It's, it's a very good quality. Hair dryer with ionizer. Oh, wow. sharp. Yes. And then the soap. Let's smell it. Mm, not bad. Do you, any lotion? No lotions. Okay. Let me let Sean try the smell. Your, your sweat will moisturize yourself. <laughs> it's too hot. Mm. Mm. No, the normal hotel. Um, Bathroom amenity kind of smell. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is about our room at Mandale. It's 40 degrees outside. We found a very interesting place for our early dinner. And then right over here uh, is a handmade noodle. Thank you. They have a huge selection and uh, what's nice is that they have an English menu so you can reference uh, whatever you want to eat. And then there's also pictures so you can have a rough idea of what you are ordering. Yeah, so... Okay. Thank you very much.
at the classic. And then I will also order their local snacks and one of their local side dish if I'm not wrong. Later we will show it to you. My uh, bamboo shoot noodle and then I have selected the... Oh, thank you. And they come with the ch chili. It's like this. And you can select the noodle that you like. Uh, I have chosen the Shan noodle, which is the one that's chewy noodle. Bamboo should smell a little bit like urine, the ammonia, but it tastes really good. If you love it, you will love it. Oh, very nice that eh? the soup. Let me try the bamboo shoot. Mm. It's just like the one you can order from the ramen in Japan. It's very nice. And now here come for the evil part. The very oily, fatty, uh, three-layer pork. <laughs> oh! Oh, hot, hot, hot. It's very tender. It's like, you just use your, mouth, your tongue and press it, it's just separate. I ordered the traditional Myanmar snack. Uh, I believe it's savory because I think this is uh, chili sauce. Let me just try. It's a bit doughy. <laughs> It's like a bit like yam paste and very um very tasty. It's very nice. I like it. This is another dish which I ordered. It's a Myanmar traditional snack as well. And there are parsley, spring onion, chili, tomato and an egg and then with bean sprout. So let me try. It feels like um, naan or dosa. Ah, padam. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the uh, Indian bread with the condiments on top. So it's like the Myanmar style pizza. Hmm. Very soft. Mm, the taste is very light. Um, not very heavy. Um. And then um, there are a lot of chickpeas on it also. So these two dishes has got chickpeas. It's nice. I like it. Both these dishes together with uh, Jim's uh, Shan noodles with pork and bamboo shoot. We like it very much. So that's the name of the restaurant. Here come the receipt. So uh, we. Let's finalize that what we're having. So for me, I'm having bamboo shoot with uh, three layer pork plus noodle, 2,500. Then uh, Sean is having two of the traditional local snacks, uh, $3,000. Uh, yeah. His coffee is five, uh, 700. And then my Coke is also seven seven hundred dollar uh jet. and then passion fruit is one thousand dollar. So in total for our big meal for dinner is eight thousand and three hundred, which is uh less than less than seven US dollar for a big meal. We are at the Mandalay Night Market is in uh, Chinatown. Yes, have a lot of food selection. Asparagus looks very beautiful. Very fresh and long. And now here come and see what flower do they have. 
never seen that before. <laughs> I know this is Esther. Lily is only for rich people. I according to the driver. 